Hello everyone, I'm Ardal Carcelyar and welcome to Dal Pen. So kung baka ka lang dito, kindly click the like button and subscribe, diba? So kung meron ka ng mga friends at nakita mo ka makipakinabang ang video sa to, kindly share the video to them. Okay, so for today, since February, ang pag-uusakas about relationship. Okay, not, but not just an ordinary relationship, the most meaningful relationship. Okay, ang pag-uusak pa rin ang relationship niya. The four realities and here is reality number one. God loves you. God loves you. And because He loves you, He decides that you may have an eternal life with Him. Psalm 16 for God so loved the world that He gave His only the other son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have an everlasting life. He also decides that you may have a meaningful and abundant life with Him. Sabi sa John 10, I came that we may have life and have it abundantly. But most people are experiencing a meaningful life and are sure that they have eternal life because that's the reality of number two. We have a sin problem. And that sin problem separates us from God. Like Sabi sa Roma 23, For everyone has sinned. For everyone has sinned and all short the glory of God. Now, the penalty of sin is that. And the Bible speaks about two types of death. Sabi sa Roma 63, For the wages of sin is death. But sinabi natin death, the original form niya is separation. Separation. Now, the physical death happens kapag yung physical body natin nag-separate yung soul natin. Okay? Nag-separate yung soul natin. Now, the spiritual death happens sabi sa Revelation 21 verse 8. The cowardly, the faithless, the polluted, the murderers, the fornicators, the sorcerers, the idolaters, and all liars, their place will be in the lake that burns with fire and soot, which is the second death. So, meaning nangyayari, mangyayari, ang second death is that. Uh, okay, some may say that they have not murdered, they have not committed sexual immorality or practiced magic arts, but the scripture says, are all liars. So, I know that every one of us is nakapagsara, especially me, nakapagsara rin na, diba? So, our place will be in hell. Since sin separate man from God, what is the solution? Some may say na, okay, lagay ako na sisimba, marami ako natutulungan, marami ako nagawang mabuti, but none of this work can save us. Sabi sa Isaiah 64 verse 6, we are all infected and impure with sin. When we display our righteous deeds, they are nothing but filthy rugs. So, walang wala sila but just a filthy rugs. Okay? Now, kung hindi yung good works ko, kung hindi yung religion ko, kung hindi yung mga bagay na ginagawa ko makakapag-save sa akin, ano ang makakapag-save sa akin? And that's reality number three. Jesus Christ is the only answer to the separation problem. He is the only way to our separation problem. Sabi doon, He completely paid the penalty of our sins. Yung kabayaran ng kasalanan mo, siya yung nagbayad doon. Sabi doon sa 1 Peter 3.18, For Christ also suffered for sins once for all. The righteous for the unrighteous in order to bring you to God. So it is Jesus Christ that paid for our sin. Sabi, He is the only way Sabi sa John 14.6, Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So observe, sabi, I am the way. And hindi siya isa sa mga daan, kundi siya lang yung tanging daan mapunta si God the Father. His resurrection proves that He is the Son of God, the Messiah, and the only Savior. So walang natural na tao, walang normal na tao, walang tao ang mga matay sa ubahe muli. But He is the Son of God. And that's one thing to prove na Siya ay Son of God. Yung Kanyang pagkabuhay ulit. And that's another thing also to prove that He is a Savior nung nabuhay Siya ulit. Nung na-overpower Niya ang death. Sabi lang sa 1 Corinthians 15, 4, 
Christ died for our sin. He was buried. He was raised on the third day in accordance with that scripture. But knowing all that things is not enough. Okay, alam mo na si Christ yung solution. Alam mo na si Christ yung way. Alam mo na si Christ yung tanging daan. But knowing that thing is not enough. And here's reality number four. We must choose to place our faith in Jesus Christ. Now we know that Jesus Christ is the way. Our road is to put our faith in Christ Jesus. We are saved by God's grace in faith in Jesus Christ alone. Hindi ang grace natin. Sabi sa Ephesians 2, 8 to 9, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not the result of works, so that no one may boast. Now, we just have to have faith in Jesus. We do not need to add anything for it for us to be saved. Salvation is a free gift given by God through Jesus Christ. Now, where do good works come from? Baka kasi sabihin nyo, okay, hindi ko na pala kailangan gumawa ng mabuti is okay lang gumawa ako ng masama kasi saved naman ako. Huwag kang mapakasigurado. No? Sabi sa Ephesians 2.10 For we are what He has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. Good works are not the means to salvation. Rather, they are the evidence of your salvation. Faith in Jesus does nothing from us equals to salvation to that produce good works. Right? So we can show our faith in Jesus by what? Accepting His gift of eternal life. Two, turning away from our sins. And three, surrendering our lives to Him as our Lord and Savior. Now, are you putting your faith in Jesus Christ right now? Now, if yes, congratulations! Now, the following things may happen to you as you continue to walk with God and start a relationship with Him. One, your eternal life with God begins today. Okay? So, sabi ni, sabi sa John 6.40, This is indeed the will of the Father, that all who see the Son and believe in Him may have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. And two, all of your sins are paid for and forgiven. Past sins, future sins, and present sins, all of those sins are forgiven. Sabi, He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of this beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sin. Colossians 1, 13-14. Right. And three, you are a new person God's eye. A new life has begun for you. Sabi doon sa 2 Corinthians 5.17 So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything all has passed away. See, everything has become new. And four, you became a child of God. Sabi sa John 1 verse 12 But to all who receive Him, who believe in His name, He gave the power to become children of God. And that's the most meaningful relationship na magkakaroon na dapat magkaroon tayo. So if you like the videos, can you share again to your friend and also click the like button and subscribe to this videos or page or YouTube channel. Okay, so kindly see you again next week.